Hi again, everyone. I'm Kelly Chapman. We start quick cast with breaking news tonight. Utah Transit Authority says a man now recovering after he fell between two tracks cars at the central hub station in Salt Lake City. UTA says right around 8 o'clock tonight, a man was trying to board one of the trains when he stumbled and fell in between two train cars and got caught. He was stuck for several minutes before the train eventually dragged him 50 feet and then finally stopped. Miraculously, the victim only suffered minor injuries. I would say this gentleman won the lottery tonight. Uh, most people in a situation like this would suffer serious injuries and it might even uh, lead to death. And uh, this gentleman survived it. UTA says they will now look into nearby surveillance video in their investigation on how the man fell. One of the country's leading experts on religious cults is weighing in on the investigation of two missing children from Rexburg, Idaho. Seven-year-old Joshua Vallow and 17-year-old Tylee Ryan have been missing for months, and their newlywed parents, Chad Daybell and Lori Vallow, are not cooperating with police. Rick Allen Ross from the Cult Education Institute agrees with family members who think Joshua and Tylee are victims of extreme religious beliefs, especially after the deaths of Chad and Lori's previous spouses. It seems to me that Chad Dable is the leader and he's the defining element of this group. I mean, he wrote 25 books. He seems to use his, his LDS background as a recruitment tool. If you have any information about this case, please call the FBI or the Rexburg Police Department. There could be a plea deal in the works for the suspect behind a multi-state adoption scheme. Paul Peterson is facing charges in Arizona, Utah, and Arkansas, accused of selling babies from mothers smuggled from the Marshall Islands into the United States. Our sister station in Phoenix reports Peterson and his attorney are open to a deal, but getting the one they want may not be easy. A criminal defense attorney says every state involved must get on board. If Peterson wanted to go to trial, he would actually have to be found not guilty in all three cases. In other words, the government gets three different whacks at him. Peterson could serve anywhere between five to ten years in federal prison and be fined up to one million dollars. Thanks, Kelly. Time is 10.02 right now. Temperatures here across the state, mostly 30 degrees to about 35 degrees. For tomorrow morning, overnight temps, upper 20s, mostly cloudy. We're drying out. We've got no warnings or watches here across the state. I do think we'll have some patchy fog for our colder valleys like Cache Valley heading into the overnight hours. For St. George, mostly sunny in the seven-day forecast, close to 50 to 55 over the next week. And for northern Utah, We'll have low 40s the next few days and then some more chances for snow late Sunday and then more active weather will return late next week. Kelly. Thanks, Sally. The Utah Division of Wildlife Resources is warning the public tonight on the dangers of keeping wild animals as pets after a five year old Uinta County boy was attacked by his neighbor's raccoon. The boy underwent emergency surgery and the raccoon ended up being euthanized. It is illegal to own a raccoon in the state of Utah without a permit. If you encounter a wild animal, you are urged not to touch it and leave it alone. The race for Utah's next governor is getting a little bit crowded. Several candidates declared their candidacy today and their intent to gather signatures to get on the ballot. Right now, they include Lieutenant Governor Spencer Cox, former Governor John Huntsman Jr., Jeff Birmingham, Amy Winder Newton, former Utah Republican Party Chairman Thomas Wright, and former House Speaker Greg Hughes. Finally tonight, a magnatine got to celebrate the new year once again as loud as he could. 16-year-old Tristan Jill Edis loves sirens. He recently bought an air raid siren in an auction. Now, Tristan decided to fire it up on New Year's and then again this evening after getting really positive responses from hundreds of people on social media. Some even drove over to Tristan's house to hear that siren in person. That's loud. I listen to a lot of loud music, and that was starting to hurt your ears after a little bit. <laughs> yeah, it was. I, I could feel it in my chest. It was. It was awesome. Wow, that was loud. Tristan says he hopes to turn this into a tradition to help Magna ring in the new year each and every year. That's it for the Fox 13 Quick Cast, the day's top stories in just five minutes. Don't go anywhere. Modern Family starts right now. Good night, everyone. <laughs>